Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question from math interview. We need to read this expression. So we have 2 in our numerator and square root of 2 minus 1 in our denominator. We need to read this expression to the power 12. If you have your approach, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. So right now let's try to solve it. First of all, we, we raise this fraction to the power 12. So we can easily express this as our numerator to the power 12 and our denominator raised to the power 12. So we can look like split it. So let's do this as our first step. Let's Let's split it. So we have 2 to the power 12 and we will have a denominator. So square root of 2 minus 1 raised to the power to the power 12. Right now we can easily find this 2 to the power, power 12 real quick because 2 to the power 12 is equal to 4096. Let's leave it like that. Let's find it. So 4096. This is our numerator. In our denominator we have square root of 2 minus 1 raised to the power to the power 12. Really great. Right now the main thing, because everything is great in our numerator, we have a constant, so everything is perfect, but in our denominator we have this expression, square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 12. And right now let's forget a little bit about this fraction. Let's find first of all this, this expression. So we need to find square root of 2 minus 1 raised to the power, raised to the power 12. Okay, we need to find it. We don't know what it's equal to. We need to find it. How can I do this? I'm going to show you my approach. The first thing you can easily raise this to the power 12 is with coefficients, but I'm going to show you the better method. So first of all, let's call so let let's call this square root of two minus one, for example, as x. Okay, this is equal to equal to x. So then, as a result, we need to find x to the power x to the power 12 we need to find because this expression inside of it this this parenthesis equal to x so we need to find x to the power 12 everything is great right now let's ex uh, let's uh, rewrite this expression so first of all let's change position so let's write x on our left side this coefficient uh, this constant on the on the right side so as a result we have x equal to square root of 2 minus minus 1 Okay, right now let's add one to both sides. Okay, let's add one to both sides. As a result, we're gonna cancel it from the right side and it appears on the left side. So as a result, we have x plus one equal to square root of two. Right now, let's raise both sides to the second power. So let's do this right now. Let's raise both sides to the second power. So from here, we have x plus one, x plus one raised to the second power equal to square root of two raised raise to the second power. Really great. Right now we can easily cancel the square root of sine with this two, and right here this is our basic school formula. x plus y to the second power. We can easily solve it real quick right now because this is equal to x square plus two x and plus and plus one equal to right here we have we have only two on the on the right side. So as a result, right here we can easily subtract uh, two from uh, we can easily bring this two from our left uh, right side to left side. So as a result we have x square plus two x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 and right now 1 minus 2 equal to minus 1. So our final expression that we that we want to, to have it, okay, x squared plus 2x minus 1 is equal to is equal to 0. And right now I'm not gonna solve it, I don't need to solve it, I just want to express the second power through the first one, okay, as a result we'll have x squared equal to, let's write this one on the right side, 1 minus 2x. So I really need this expression. So x square equal to 1 minus 1 minus 2x. This is an expression that we uh, that we really need. And don't forget about the thing that we need to find x to the power 12. We know everything about x square. So right now the main thing is to getting closer and closer to this x to the power 12. First of all, for example, let's raise both sides to the power 2. As a result, we will have x to the power 4. Okay, let's do this right now. So our first step, we're gonna raise both sides. We're gonna raise our left side. So x to the power 2, we're gonna raise to the power 2 equal to 1 minus 2x raised to the power 2. So we just raise in both sides to the second power. As a result, on the left side, we have x to the fourth power, okay? And on the right side, we can easily raise this because 1 minus 2x, we can easily do that without any problems. So we have 1 minus 2 times 1 times 2x and plus 2x, 2x square. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. So x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 4x and plus 4x square. But really tricky moment. A lot of students forget about it. But right here, x square equal to 1 minus 2x. So we can easily like simplify this expression for us because then we're going to raise this to the power 2 once more. And as a result, right here, we'll have x to the power 4, which is a little bit complicated for us to do. So first of all, let's instead of this x square, 
every time write this 1 minus 2x. So instead of this x square right here, I'm going to plug in this 1 minus 2x. So as a result, what do we have? x to the power 4 equal to 1 minus 4x plus 4 times x square, 1 minus 2x. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, what do we have? We have x to the power 4 equal to 1 minus 4x plus 4 and minus 8 minus 8x. Really great. Right now we have x to the power 4 equal to uh, 1 plus 4 equal to 5. And right here minus 4x minus 8x equal to minus 12 minus 12x. So x to the fourth power equal to 5 minus 12x. So x to the fourth power we know about it. x to the second power we know about it. But don't but keep in mind that we need to find x to the power 12. So right now let's try to think a little bit. How can we find x to the power 12? Obviously we need to we need to rate this x to the fourth power once more to the second power because then we will have x to the eighth power. This is closer to this x to the 12th power that we need to find. So let's do this right now. So let's rate this x to the fourth power once more. Let's rate this to the uh, to the second power. Okay, let's do this so to the second power and of course this expression to the second power. Okay, minus 12x raise raised to the second power. Let's do this. So as a result, x to the eighth power we have right now equal to 5 minus 12x, we're going to raise to the second power. This is our basic formula. So as a result, we have 5 square minus 2 times 5 and times 12x, 12x, and plus 12x, we're going to raise this to the second power. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, we have x to the power 8 equal to 25 minus 2 times 5 times 12 equal to 120 times x and plus 144 x square. So these are x to the power 8, but don't forget about it. As I said before, x square is equal to, uh, equal to where do we have it? Okay, we, we really need this expression. This is expression from the beginning. So x square equal to 1 minus 2x. Let's rewrite it because this is extremely important expression for us. But x square equal to 1 minus 1 minus 2x. So x square equal to 1 minus to x. And right now, instead of this x square, let's plug in 1 minus 2x. Let's simplify this a little bit. So as a result, we have x to the power 8 equal to 25 minus 120 times x plus 144 times x square. x square equal to 1 minus 2x. 1 minus 1 minus 2x. Really great. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, x to the power 8 equal to 25 minus 120 times x plus 144 and minus 288 times x. As a result, 25 plus 144 equal to 169. Okay, so as a result, we have um, x to the power 8 equal to 169 minus right here we have 408x. 408 x. So these are x to the power uh, to the power 8. This is not expression that we really need because we need x to the power 12. Don't forget about it. But how can we combine all this stuff to find x to the power 12? Right here in the beginning we had x to the power x to the power 4 equal to 5 minus 12x. So right now when we multiply x to the power 4, so we'll just look at it. So x to the power 4 when we multiply by x to the power 8, we will, as a result, we will have x to the power 12. So right now let's do this. Let's do this thing. Let's multiply x to the fourth times x to the power 8. But x to the fourth equal to 5 minus 12x from here. Don't forget about it. So 5 minus 12x, yeah. So we have 5 minus 12x from here. And of course times this one, 169 minus. So 169 minus 408, 408x. Okay, this is our x to the power x to the power 12 of the expression that we really need but don't forget about our right side because we have a complicated thing we just need to we just need to multiply all of this stuff and right now let's let's do this let's do this together let's multiply all of this stuff right here so as a result we have 5, five times 169 so 5 times 100 is 169 minus 5 times 408 times x minus 12x times uh, times 169 169 and plus 12x times 408 
408x. Okay, don't forget about it. Yeah, really great. Let's simplify this a little bit. A long and complicated expression, but in the end we will have a great answer. So x to the power 12 equal to 5 times 169 equal to 845. 845. Minus, right here when we multiply it, we have uh, 2040 times x. And uh, the next thing, we have minus 2028x. 2028x. And plus, right here when we multiply 12 times 408, we have 4896x x, x squared. Okay, really great. Let's subtract right here of an expression in the middle with this with this axis. With this axis. So as a result, we have x to the power 12 equal to 845, 845 minus 4000 and 69, 68x, yeah, we have right here 68, and plus 4896x square, x square. But don't forget about it, x square equal to 1 minus 2x, expression from the beginning, x square equal to 1 minus 2x, it helps us to to reduce a power a little bit, so x square equal to 1 minus 2x, so let's plug in, instead of this x square, let's plug in 1 minus 1 minus 2x. So as a result we have x to the power 12 equal to 845 minus 4068x plus 4896 times this expression 1 minus 2x, 1 minus 2x. Really great, let's simplify this a little bit. As a result we have x to the power 12 equal to 845 minus 4068x plus 4,896, and right here we have minus 9,792 times, time times x. Uh, what are we going to do next? Right now we need to add our constant, so we have constant right here, and we have our thing with the, with the variables. This is our thing with the variables, this is our thing with the constant, and when we add it, our x to the 12th power, x to the 12th power is equal to, as a result, we have mm, 5741, 41, minus 13,860 times, times x. And don't forget about the thing, because in the beginning we had a substitution. In the very beginning we had a substitution of our x equal to square root of 2 minus 1. Okay, expression that we really need, because when we plug in this square root of 2 minus 1, we will have x uh, to the power 12. So let's use our final substitution. Let's go back to our substitution. Looks like that. So we have square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 12. When we plug in, instead of x, when we plug in expressions to the expression that we need to find uh, to solve the question from the beginning, okay, equal to, so we have 5741 minus 13,860 times x, x equal to square root of 2 minus 1, okay, square root of 2 minus 1, yeah, right now let's simplify this a little bit, as a result we have mm, 5,741 minus, right here, 13,860 square root of 2, and we have plus, we have plus 13,000, 860. And when, and when we find all of this stuff, we have our final answer that our square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 12 is equal to 19,601 and minus 13,860 square root of 2. This is our square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 12. But don't forget about it, because in the beginning we had our question. I just wanted to rewrite it real quick, because in the beginning we have it. Our question looks like that from the beginning. So we, as a result, we have 2 divided by square root of 2 minus 1 to the power uh, to the power 12. And as I said before, in the beginning we just raised 2 to the power 12 right here, and we divide it by square root of 2 minus 1 to the power to the power 12. Right now we know everything. We know 2 to the power 12 equal to uh, 4096, 4096. And right now we know everything about our denominator. So square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 12 equal to this expression. So we have 19,601 minus 13,860 square root of 2. And it looks like our answer, but for better mark, for just to impress your teacher, you can easily multiply this expression by the by the conjugate. Okay, let's do this right now. We need to multiply by the conjugate of a, a conjugate denominator. So as a result, we have 4096 times the conjugate. From here, we have the same expression, but with a plus sign. 
So 19,601 plus 13,860 square root of 2. This is our numerator. And in our denominator, we will have 19,601. Uh, the same thing, minus 13,860 square root of 2. And we're going to multiply it by the same, by the conjugate, okay? So as a result, we have 19,601, but with the plus sign, plus 13,860 square root of 2. Okay, and right now, a really tricky moment, because this is our difference of two square, and that's why we multiply it by the, by the conjugate. So as a result, we have the same numerator, so 4,096 times this expression, 19,601 plus 13,860 square root of 2. But in our denominator, we will have difference of squares. So 19,601 square, we're going to subtract from this expression, 13,860 square root of 2. We're going to raise to the second power. And you will be shocked a little bit, but I mm, solved it uh, maybe previous week, this question. And this expression right here, when we raise this to the second power and we consider this uh, subtraction, so this expression is equal to is equal to 1. So when we subtract it, this number, this denominator is equal to equal to 1. As a result, we have only our, only our numerator. So our answer is 4096 times this expression, 19 six zero one plus thirteen eight six zero square root of two thirteen thousand eight hundred and six so let's write our final answer this looks like our final answer of course you can multiply it by four thousand ninety six you can easily do that but it will be like a huge huge value so right now let's write our final answer to this question right here on the bottom okay our answer to this question so our question looks like that in the beginnings of two divided by square root of two minus one raised to the power to the power 12 equal to and this is our answer 4096 times 19601 plus 13860 square root of 2 this is looks like our answer we solved it absolutely correctly we solved it according to a correct correct algorithm you can also write your notes write your write a suggestion what do you think about this challenge and it will be extremely grateful to see your response to this question this is um, there's no this type of question on youtube uh, this like um, from entrance examination so i really hope you enjoy it i really hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes I have a lot of questions on my youtube channel i have a lot of challenges so it will be extremely great when you leave your your respond when you leave a like when you leave a dislike it's extremely great for me to to see you respond and it's extremely kind of you to support my videos for watching it it's extremely grateful and it inspires me a lot to make a new content every day so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day see you in the next videos